Hey there, Earth Signs. Welcome to What Does Spirit Want You to Know? Thank you so much for tuning in. So, this is going to be a general message, okay? Um, it's not love specific, it's not career specific, it's just what does spirit want you to know at this time, okay? Now, I, I recommend, uh, well, if you want to do this, you know, keep it cute with the sun, moon, rising, Venus, potentially Jupiter, go right ahead. But if you are wanting to go a little bit deeper into the situation, I recommend that you look at your birth chart and pick out an area in your life that you're trying to get a little bit more information on, like, and whatever, like, pick a, pick a planet, um, and wherever that planet is and whatever sign that planet is in for you in your chart, go ahead and watch that video. You might get some really good guidance here, okay, um, as to the situation at hand. Um, I have some, uh, some links in the description box below to um, a website that gives you a really good birth chart. And it actually gives you the option to either calculate, calculate your Western chart or your Eastern chart. I personally resonate more with my Eastern chart. And so I would look through messages for that one. But I do leave the option open to do either Western or Eastern because in all honesty, it's really just about what you resonate with the most, okay? Uh, this video is going to be time stamped, okay? So if you would like, you don't have to watch the whole thing. Um, you can go through and pick whichever sign you want and watch that. So how we're, uh, how we're laying this out. I'm going to start with an oracle card from the Unicorn Oracle for each sign. And I'm going to get like your, your general message or your overall theme. And then I'm going to pull a tarot spread. This is the Crystal Visions Tarot. Um, I'm going to pull that one for in the form of my general freestyle spread. So you'll have two sets of surrounding energy, your current challenge, and then the last one is going to be the final message spirit has for you. All right. I believe that's it. Okay. So let's get into it, guys. This is for earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Yeah. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. What do you want the earth signs to know, spirit? Thank you so very much. All right, guys, we are getting started with Taurus, yeah? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What does Spirit want you to know, Taurus? Just going to give a shuffle here. Boop. Okay. What does Spirit want you to know, Taurus? Let's get your overall theme here. Taurus. There we go. Dance. All right. Underneath the deck, you have courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Some of you might be feeling a bit fearful at the moment. Not too sure what's going on around you. We are in Scorpio season, at least as of the moment that I am recording this. This is November 3rd. We are in Scorpio season in the Western. Actually, I, you know, I should be saying that. In the Western, in the Western uh, chart or uh, Western astrology, we're in Scorpio season. But actually, in Eastern, we're in Libra season. So, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. <laughs> but you have dance here. Move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your, th your, th your dreams through dance. But also, I'm getting an, a message here of needing to go with the flow of the universe, all right? Um, maybe not being so rigid in how your manifestations come to you. Maybe that could be... Maybe you could have... I'm getting a message here that some of you need to step out of your comfort zone a little bit when it comes to what it is you're trying to manifest in your life. Go with the flow of the universe instead of just trying to make things go in your own way, at your own speed. Um, there's definitely there's definitely a need to step out of your comfort zone a little bit. All right, Taurus? So let's get into the tarot spread here for you. Some of you actually might even need to move your body a little bit. Get some exercise. Maybe do join a do go to some dance classes or you know do something physical. 
join a gym. I don't know. Whatever resonates with you. Some of you might, actually, some of you might be dealing with um, some sort of weight loss, needing to lose weight for health reasons, just wanting to lose weight, and your courage is, uh, um, courage is here to say that you can do it. You, you got this. Especially if you're looking to better yourself, you don't need any other reason to do it other than just because you want to feel good. So do it. All right, Taurus? Okay. One more shuffle for you. Cool. What does spirit want you to know, Taurus? Boots. All righty. Overall energy here. You've got the Four of Cups, boredom, unrequited love, maybe. I really feel like some Taurus, hmm. In Western astrology, we are in Scorpio season. Scorpio is your opposite sign. I feel like you're kind of wrapped up in the doom and gloom of it all. <laughs> um, and I'm in spirit is saying you, you need to step out of that. Challenges are going to arise in your life. Um, you. It would be a disservice to yourself to allow these challenges, to allow the up and downs of your life, keep you from living a full and beautiful and happy life, okay? You've got the Six of Wands here. So look, there is some sort of victory coming through for you. You could be connecting with a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. You might want to watch the Leo reading. Um, but this is also about pride and ego, so it could be your pride and your ego that's keeping you in this Four of Cups energy. I, I feel like you're almost distant from the world. That's what I just heard. You have the Six of Cups also. So this is the past. It could be a soulmate coming through for you. Someone may be trying to offer you something. A soulmate may, may be trying to offer you something. But I really, because I'm looking here at this Four of Cups, and I really feel like what you're, you're kind of isolating yourself right now. Because in this deck, the Four of Cups is a bit different. Someone, this, this woman is focused more on this single cup, which has a lotus in it, um, rather than these three empty cups behind her. Whereas in other decks, this person is focused more on the three cups before them and less on that single cup behind them. So this could be a moment of you're going through some, some self-care. But I also, I just feel like, Taurus, you might be just wallowing in your own in pity right now. And underneath everything else, you have the Seven of Wands. Uh, this is defensiveness. This is like tr having to defend yourself or feeling like you need to defend yourself. I feel like there's some situation from your past that's kind of holding you back right now. But then with the Six of Wands, either this is your pride and your ego that's getting in the way, or some sort of victory is coming coming towards you and you're not really noticing it yet, okay? First set of current energies for you, Taurus, the Unknown card. So this is a unique card in the deck, okay? Um, and this talks about... Hold on a second. I, I looked this up, but I actually want to look it up again just to make sure I have it correct. But, sorry guys, give me a second here. What did I do with the little booklet? Did I do with it? Sorry guys. <laughs> I just want to make sure that I have this, ah, here we go, that we have this correct. But basically this card is about looking into the unknown, okay? Because you have, you have this crystal ball here, but the crystal ball is kind of clouded, right? So you might feel a bit clouded at the moment. It can, yeah, so, okay, yes, from the past. Okay, so let, I'll, I'll, I'll read this to you guys. It can signify something, I'm sorry, the Crystal Visions deck includes the unknown card, which represents an answer that's not yet meant to be revealed. It can signify something from the past that may not full, that one may not fully understand, or something that will happen soon. Whatever 
Wherever the unknown card falls within a spread will indicate what area still needs to unfold and that further steps need to be taken in order to clarify the bigger picture. It can also sim uh, sim signify the importance of one looking deeper into the issue at hand in order to find answers. It can also represent the importance of moving forward with an open mind without bias. With time, patience, and introspection, the picture will soon be revealed. So uh, this is also saying, so this is definitely um, saying that, you know, something from the past is kind of tripping you up here. But if you don't have the information to understand it right now, don't worry about it. Okay? Maybe continue looking into the situation, but look at it with intentions of understanding, not necessarily just wallowing in the pity. And the Four of Cups here... I, I, I do get an energy of emotional stability with the Four of Cups in this deck, um, but this woman is intently looking into this single cup. So this is that energy of introspection, uh, focusing on the self, and the focusing on what is could be seen as the Ace of Cups here. And the Ace of Cups is all about self-love. So you really could be coming going through a situation right now in which you are working to understand yourself, working to show yourself some more self-love. The unknown card is coupled with the lovers. All right, so you have an, a situation here um, if you're dealing with maybe some unrequited love or something like that, um, you're dealing with a situation that is not quite clear right now. There are things that are not known that you just have to you just have to get through it. Just stick with the situation, um, especially if things are not necessarily going your way. Don't just give up or don't just you know write the situation off because. You don't quite, it's not going your way or you don't quite understand right now. With time, it will be revealed to you. You could be dealing with a Gemini or you could have Gemini in your chart because the lovers is Gemini energy. The lovers is also about a choice, okay? And I feel like this is you coming together with yourself, coming to a deeper understanding for yourself to make a better decision moving forward, all right? But you could be connecting with a soulmate here. Uh, a twin flame, um, a divine partnership. You have the lovers and you have the six of cups. It could be a deep soulmate connection, um, past life connection even, all right? Second set of surrounding energies what the spirit wants you to know, Taurus, you've got death. There is that Scorpio energy I was talking about. Transformation. This is your opposite sign too, Scorpio. Um, Western astrology, we're in Scorpio season. If that resonates with you, then hey, go with it. Um, there's a lot of transformation happening right now, okay? Especially for you, but again, this is that energy of being in the doom and gloom of it all. And it's, you get, instead of focusing on that, focus on the transformation at hand, okay? Death is coupled with, woohoo, the chariot. Could be dealing with cancer. Cancer could be in your chart. This is cancer energy. But this transformation is moving you forward quite quickly. And I really feel like it's helping you identify and get in touch with what it is you truly desire so that you can continue to move forward, all right? Some of you might be feeling stuck and stagnant, may have been feeling stuck and stagnant for some time, but now with this transformation that's happening, with this clearing up that's happening, you're getting an opportunity to move forward, all right? You've got a lot of major arcana so far here. Um, actually, because you can consider the unknown as major arcana, because in this deck, it's in between the major arcana and the minor, okay? So you got four major arcana right now in your surrounding energies. Your surround surrounding energies is all major. So you got some serious transformation that's happening for you, Taurus, okay? Your current challenge, the Queen of Swords discernment, okay? Cutting things out that no longer serves you, serve you. Now, <laughs> now, also the challenge is for you, Taurus, to get out of the emotions of the situation. Get out of the doom and gloom because the queen of swords, she ain't got time for no emotions. She ain't got time for the drama. And Taurus, Taurus, you're really not about the drama anyway, okay? So it might be really foreign for you or it might just be a bit out of character for you if you're in this like doom and gloom, wallowing in the pity almost of the situation. Now I don't want, I, I'm not trying to, to, to offend anybody. If you're going through a really serious situation, 
definitely feel the emotion surrounding it. But at some point, you're going to have to pull yourself up and be like, all right, fine. That's not making me feel good, so I'm just going to cut that shit out. Queen of Swords that shit, y'all, okay? Queen of Swords is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. What are you holding on to, Taurus? This is, to me, the Four of Pentacles is very much Taurus when we're in our stubborn energy, okay? Um, but the challenge here is to look at the objectiveness of the situation. And if it doesn't serve you, just cut it out. Just cut it. Bye, Felicia. Gone. Doesn't serve me anymore. I don't want it around me. So I'm just going to cut it out. And there's not even going to be an argument about it. There's not even going to, we don't even need to have a discussion. I don't have to explain anything to you. This does not resonate with me. I'm cutting it out. It was nice to know you. It. Well, thank you for your presence in my life. This, that, and the third. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Your final message here, Taurus. The two of wands. All right, so you're cutting things out and now you're making a decision in which direction that you need to go, that you want to go. Because I feel like you have all of this, once you cut something out, once you finally release something, you will have the space and the energy to move forward in a new direction. But also the two of wands is the, for some of you, it is choosing what to cut out here. All right. Two of wands is coupled with a wheel of fortune. Change in season, divine timing, karma, uh, the wheel turning in your favor. And I feel like the more you cut things away, the more, the, the, well, the more you cut out the fluff, um, the things that you no longer, that no longer serve you, the more you will be in the flow of the universe. Go with the flow. Yeah, Taurus? All right, so there it is for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Next, we are going to do Virgo. So give me just a moment here. Let me just reshuffle. All right. Virgo. <laughs> Nine of Wands and the King of Wands. Um, wanted to make themselves known. Uh, you might be dealing, connecting with a fire sign. You might have Aries in your chart. Um, you might be really in a very persistent energy, Virgo. Going after what it is you want. Uh, and not letting anyone tell you you can't have it. You know? Uh, fighting the good fight or just fighting against the elements. Um, in... In, uh, in order to really get what it is that you feel that you deserve or that you do deserve. Um, although, also though, I'm getting an energy for you, Virgo, that um, you might be going too far with going after what it is you want. Um, maybe riding roughshod over people, not really taking into account the people that you might be affecting adversely with you going after your desires here um, because of the nine of wands that also wanted to show, okay? I'm getting an energy of um, not really heeding the warning and just keeping the fight going even though you're battered and bruised. You might be doing this from egoic purposes because the king of wands can be very, can be very ego driven, okay? But let's get into your official reading now, Virgo. Give this one more shuffle. All right, Virgo. What does spirit want you to know? Virgo. Virgo, 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 Virgo. There it is. There you are, Virgo. Okay. What does spirit want you to know, Virgo? Hmm. Whoop. Good Lord. All right. Well, you've got three cards here underneath the deck is passion. So there is the, um, that's the energy that I was getting with the King of Wands and the Nine of Wands. The King of Wands is very passionate, very driven, but ego driven can be also passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. Okay. You also have past lives release. Oh goodness. There are four cards here. Release your past life karma. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. You also got courage, so and Taurus got courage, so you might want to check that reading. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. 
You got friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. Wow. And you got dance. Okay. Move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams, dreams through dance. So you could be connecting with the Taurus. You could have Taurus in your chart. Or you might want to look at where... Uh, what planet is in Taurus if it's not a major placement where else it could be in Taurus Or even if it is a major placement where again where else? Uh, uh, Taurus could be it what else could be in Taurus in your chart and read or watch that reading, okay? I feel like there's an energy of disconnect here between friends and passions I feel like someone has really gotten so disconnected, is like so focused on what it is they want to achieve, they've almost forgotten how to be a friend to someone. Or they may have come, they may have gotten disconnected from their heart and are now, and I'm getting this from the friendship card, are now needing to connect with their heart and thus subsequently with soul family in order to reconnect with their passions. Okay? All right, Virgo. So let's get into your tarot spread here. I'm going to try and set this up so you can see all these cards, but yeah, there we go. Okay. Cool, Wayne, cool. All right. Virgo. What does spirit want you to know, Virgo? What does spirit want you to know, Virgo? All right, Virgo. Let's see what we've got here for you. Ooh, sorry if that was so loud. All right, Virgo. Overall energy. You've got the four of wands. Okay, so... Uh, movement, you could be moving in, uh, you're moving to a new place, moving in with someone, blah, blah, blah. I'm hearing family. Um, the Four of Wands is balance, is solid foundation, um, is commitment. Uh, it could mean marriage. Uh, the Four of Wands is a union card, 1111. Okay, Four of Wands. Look at you, Virgo. Two of Cups. You really could be moving in with someone. You really could be connecting with a soulmate here. Um, are you, and you are showing up in your reading with the Hermit. Okay? And then on, also underneath the deck, you've got the Emperor. You could be connecting with an Aries. You could have Aries in your chart. Um, yeah. So taking control, and actually the King of Wands flew out while I was shuffling for you in the beginning, um, and so and the King of Wands is Aries to me, so you really could be connecting with an Aries, but I feel like there's energy of a connection coming, a commitment coming, okay, with the Four of Wands and the Emperor, because the emperor is very committed. It's all about commitment and sticking to it, honoring that commitment. The emperor is the father figure. The empress is the mother figure. You have the two of cups here. Now, what I am getting, if this isn't, because this doesn't have to be another connection, because often the two of cups to me is about um, the, the union within the self. Right. And you have the four of wands. So that talks about union. But then you also have the hermit. And regardless of whether this is your card or not, the hermit is about self-discovery. Uh, it is about isolation, but it's isolation in the, in the effort to, sh to, to, to to discover your light, to discover more of your light. Um, this is coming into union with yourself. OK, for a lot of us. I'm sorry, a lot. Yeah, for a lot of us. And because of that, you're taking your power back, in a sense. You're taking ownership of your life. You're moving forward with your passions and your desires. Okay? First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. We've got, wow, the Ten of Cups, Virgo. My, my. Okay, so 
excuse me, coming into union with yourself is bringing about this emotional fulfillment here. You really could be starting a family with someone. You really could be moving in with someone. There could be an effort to, you know, try and move in with somebody. There could be marriage coming. The Four of Wands does talk about marriage. You could be getting a proposal soon. But also, this union within the self that's happening here is, is helping facilitate this Ten of Cups energy for, to come in. The Ten of Cups is coupled with, my, my, the King of Cups. There sure is a lot of love around you, Virgo. And honestly, I feel like... Um, in an effort in like this in this union of self that's happening there's emotional maturity coming through here some of you may be really coming to into terms coming to terms with um what it is you truly want in life some of you are maybe becoming more emotionally available or emotionally expressive or even emotionally mature, emotionally mature okay second set of surrounding energies for you virgo the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be you, but also the Queen of Pentacles is mostly about, uh, symbolizes Capricorn energy to me. Um, but also, the Queen of Pentacles is another depiction of m the mother, wifey material. You, There really could be some sort of marriage proposal coming for you, coming towards you. But I also get the idea, or what I'm getting the message that for some of you, it's like you're preparing yourself for this. It's like you're aligning yourself with this. And this is a good thing. This is a very, very good thing. The Queen of Pentacles is coupled with the Empress. So check it out, guys. You've got the counterparts here. Underneath the deck is the Emperor. And now in your in your surrounding energies... You've got the Empress, okay? Uh, so the mother, more mother energy. You have the father here and you have the mother here with the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is like the ultimate mother-wife um, energy. She's compassionate. She's loving. She's caring. She's affectionate. She's logical. She can be quite stern, but she does it from a place of compassion, Okay, and with the Empress here, I really feel like there's abundance. Some of you may be working on getting pregnant. Okay, because you do have the Ten of Cups here. And that does talk about family. This is beautiful energy, Virgo. So, what I'm really getting here, especially since the Hermit is here, what the Hermit is saying is... There is a lot of introspective work that is happening that is helping you align with this energy, okay? You have a soulmate that's coming into your life, or maybe that even is in your life, with this past lives situation. Release your past life karma. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. And I really feel like this is talk also talking about a past life connection because of the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the King of Cups. I mean... There is so much loving energy around here for you, Virgo. This is beautiful. Your current challenge, Page of Swords, learning, gaining intel, information. Someone could be watching you. You could be watching someone else. Page of Swords is coupled with, ah, the devil. More Capricorn energy. But the devil is fear also. My, my, my. With all that is being said here, now what I'm getting with the challenge is, Virgo, you might be coming into this energy here with, you know, all of this might really be on your mind. I really feel like some of you are coming to a real emotional maturity right now. But with your challenge here, being the Page of Swords and the Devil, you might be feeling blocked from all of this that's going on here. Mm. Mm -hmm. You might be afraid of this. Even though this is what you're facing, even though these are your surrounding energies, you might be afraid. Ah, there's that confirmation. <laughs> your final message here for you, Virgo. The Seven of Pentacles. Reaping what you've sown, 
um, the harvest, the seven of pentacles to me talks about, um, I, I really associate it, associate this with Virgo season. Um, Virgo season is about harvest, but, um, this is harvest. This is learning about, you know, what you're, what you have, what you are reaping right now. Is it what you want? I feel like for some of you, it's not because you might have a disconnect here. Because you have all of this energy, but then with your challenge, you have the fear. You have kind of like the stalker energy, okay? This is a general reading, guys. But with the Seven of Pentacles here, I'm kind of feeling like you're not really reaping what you wanted. You sown seeds, but what you're getting back is not necessarily what you wanted. Now, at the same time, it could be. It definitely could be. This is a general reading. It can go either way. It's just the Page of Swords and the Devil is throwing a wrench into the situation for me. The Seven of Pentacles is coupled with mm, the Ten of Swords. My, my, how this, how this reading has really turned around. Okay, you've got, you've got a counterpart situation. The Emperor with the Empress, all right? And yet, and yet, I don't think you're getting what you wanted. I feel like what Spirit is saying here is a, a, a recent situation, especially with the flyers that came out, the king, <clears throat> excuse me, the king of wands and the nine of wands. And I remember I was talking about, I feel like somebody is going after their ambitions, riding roughshod over people, not really taking into account how it might be affecting others. Just going after what it is they want for their own, in, in a very selfish manner. And I'm hearing the word, the term riding roughshod over someone. And now, because of that, a situation has come to an end with the Ten of Swords. The worst is behind you. And for some of you, you're reaping what you've sown. And it's a very interesting message because someone has, someone has gone through like a counterpart situation. This could be Twin Flame, you never know. But... Someone has gone, some people have gone through a situation where now that the situation is over, now they have all these surrounding energies. It's like they're almost, they're like learning from and learning and growing and expanding from the situation. And yet they just don't have it. They don't have, they, they have the energies of this, but they don't, they're not reaping this. Now, for others of you, you are achieving this here because the worst is behind you and now you've done the work and now you've learned the lessons and now you've, and you've sown the seeds and now you're getting that harvest, okay? My Virgo, this is a really interesting... I just feel like for the most part, and it's hard for me to put into words, but there are, there are a lot of really positive cards here. It just feels like all of this is coming through after the fact, like a situation has been cut off and now because the situation has been cut off, somebody is finally learning the lessons or failing the connection. Now, if that is the case for you, ultimately, I would say that the situation served a really good purpose because it's gotten someone to awaken to the truth of all of this. Okay, Virgo. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Yeah? All right. Let me just clear the board here. We're going to reshuffle. And we are going to get into Capricorn. Woo! Capricorn. Interesting. The Ten of Cups and the Empress. You might want to... Whoa! And now the Six of Wands. Interesting. You might want to watch the Virgo reading. Because all of these cards, not all of them, the Six of Wands didn't come out for Virgo. Yes, it did. It came out as a flyer, I feel like. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't remember. Um, the, but the Ten of Cups and the Empress um, and the Six of Wands, I feel like there is a victory coming in for you when it comes to family, when it comes to relationships, 
when it comes to a connection. I feel like Venus is in retrograde currently. I am recording this video on November 3rd. Venus being in retrograde is bringing, is ultimately going to be bringing a victory for you in the love sector, in the ultimate fulfillment in family life. Okay. Capricorn. All right, cool. Whoa, more. All right, well, the f <laughs> judgment and the fool. Um, but the fool landed in reverse. And underneath the deck is a ten of swords. So um, someone is not really taking a leap of faith right now. There is a new beginning coming, um, but there's a transformation that's happening first. There is an alignment that's happening. There is a call that's being put out that is in the process. <laughs> yeah, that's in the process of being answered. And now you have the Ace of Cups in reverse here. So uh, I feel like someone is, some of you Capricorns, you might be learning a lesson in self-love. Um, there might be an offer that you want to extend or that's coming in, but you're not really accepting it or you're not extending it. Somehow there is an offer of love here being blocked. Um, and it might be because someone is going through some regret, remorse. You might be coming out of a relationship um, while a new one is in the process of manifesting. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Capricorn energy. All right, Cappy. Um, I'm getting. I'm. I'm feeling guided to to let you guys know. Um, you might want to check. Okay. Well, there's your card. Um, you might want to check uh, the Cancer reading. Cancer is your opposite sign. Uh, uh, Capricorn did come out for Cancer. Um, so I, I'm being guided to just mention to you guys, you might want to check your, uh, check the cancer reading. Underneath the deck, you have gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. And then here, your overall message from the Oracle is discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. Okay. So, let's get into the Tarot spread here for you, Capricorn. What does, what does Spirit want you to know, Capricorn? Capricorn. One more shuffle for you. All right. Let's see what we've got here for you, Capricorn. Okie dokie. Overall energy you got. Yeah, the two of swords. All right, so discernment. Hello. But some of you, I feel like um, some of you are in a process of not seeing clearly or maybe even refusing to see something. It's like you're blindfolded. Or you may just feel like you can't see clearly right now. You may have gone through a tower moment because I'm hearing that um, there's too much dust in the air. The dust needs to settle first before you can really see further. That might be for some of you. For others of you, though, I feel like you might just be refusing to see something. Yep, there's the Five of Cups again. We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Seven of Wands. So definitely, I'm going to say go ahead and definitely check the Cancer reading. Again, cancer is your opposite sign, but also cancers are very much in their shell right now. They're going through a difficult process. Um, some, so some of you might be dealing with a breakup. But what I'm getting here with the Knight of Wands is someone is trying to come in towards you right now, okay? And you're not really having it <laughs> with, this, with this Seven of Wands. Or vice versa, you could be the one that's trying to move towards somebody and they're not having it. But we have the Five of Cups. There's regret. There's remorse. There might be some shame. And you have the Two of Swords. Someone is not really seeing th things clearly. Someone might be refusing to make a decision. Someone might, But a decision needs to be made. But what I'm really getting here with the Two of Swords is something needs to be looked at. Okay, but again, some of you might be purposely blinding, blindfolding yourself because you just don't want to see it. 
But I see, but I'm hearing that you have a soulmate relationship on the horizon because look, there are those two cups right there. But this person is focused on the three cups and in front of them, and those three cups are spilled, you see? So some of you might be coming out of a difficult situation right now. But I really do that look, someone, this could be a fire sign also. Knight of Wands, it could be Sagittarius specifically, but it also could be an Aries or a Leo that's trying to come into your life. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, though. It's just someone that's, I just feel like this is someone that's really, really passionate. Passionate about you, passionate about the situation, or just passionate about life in general, okay? First set of current energies for you, Capricorn. We've got, what did I say? The lovers. You've got a soulmate relationship on the horizon here. This could be a Gemini, but also this is, for some of you, this is about a decision, right? Because a decision needs to be made with the two of swords here. Someone needs to make a decision. And this could be you. You might be dealing, might have to make a decision between two people, one, one person over another. Also, I'm getting an energy of maybe even making a decision to be in a relationship again. The lovers is coupled with the page of pentacles. So someone's trying to come in here for you, Capricorn. And what I'm getting is this person is really honest and loyal. Like if you are afraid that something is coming in or someone is trying to, you know, make an offer to you and you're not sure they're genuine, I'm here to tell you, honey, they're genuine with the page of pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is honest, loyal, hardworking, stable. Well, yeah, stable because they're in Earth. But, I mean, it's, it's a small offer. But I think, I don't think it's as small as you might think. I think you're perceiving it at, to be a page. But also a page is a messenger too, okay? Second set of surrounding energies, Six of Swords. So yes, you're definitely moving away from a tough situation. And it's funny. It's really funny. Because look, if you look here, this woman, though there, there are two swords standing right next to her. Like she just dropped those swords into the snow. And then you've got this here, the two of swords. This woman is holding these two swords standing in the snow. So it's almost as if... A situation, a decision has been made to a certain extent. Maybe you could be in the process of making this decision. Also, because you have four swords that are laid down here and those two swords are in like, ha like right next to her hands. So in the four of swords right here, you know, you could have been in a situation, you could be in the energy of the four of swords right now where you're just taking a break, doing some meditation, maybe even praying. The Six of Swords is coupled with, ah, the Unknown card. So this is a unique card in the deck. Um, this is, this came out in the Taurus reading, actually, so you might want to watch that. But the Unknown card talks about something that's not quite clear right now. And it's not, you know, it's, you're not really going to get the information right away. You kind of just kind of keep moving forward, keep looking into the situation, and it will become clear eventually. Okay. It's almost like the situation is unknown and that's why you might feel blindfolded about the situation so you don't really want to move forward with it, but stay connected with it. Oh, sorry guys. Um, your current challenge. Well, actually, you know what? I just want to read from the book here because this is new to me, this unknown card. So I want to read this to you guys. The Crystal Visions deck includes the Unknown card, which represents an answer that's not yet meant to be revealed. It can signify something from the past that may not that one may not fully understand, or something that will happen soon. Wherever the unknown card far woo, sorry, wherever the unknown card falls within a spread will indicate what area still needs to be unfold and that further steps need to be taken in order to clarify the bigger picture. The unknown card can also signify the importance of one looking deeper into the issue at hand in order to find answers. It can also represent the importance of moving forward with an open mind and without bias. You see, I am so 
so glad that I read that because this card here, the Two of Swords, is someone operating from a closed mind. All right. So in your current surrounding energy, spirit is telling you that you need to open your mind a bit. OK, and you need to move away from this six of swords energy. I'm sorry, move away, move forward with this six of swords energy. OK, even though things may or may not be too clear right now, just keep moving forward. All right. The universe has your back. Your current challenge here, as if things aren't challenging enough, right, Capricorn? <laughs> Your current challenge is the Page of Cups, an apology, some sort of reconciliation. But also, this is the energy that someone is coming in here trying to offer you something, all right? They're offering you love. They're offering you stability, commitment. This is the real deal, Capricorn. Okay? The Page of Cups is coupled with, wow, look at that. There's the Four of Swords. Ooh, sorry, guys. So you really are, you really might be in this Four of Swords energy, um, in this time of respite, taking a break, all right? Look at that. You got, wow, guys, the Two of Swords and the Four of Swords is here in the Six of Swords. And I'm talking, but I was telling you, I'm feeling that Four of Swords energy, and here it is. Again, watch the Cancer reading. Cancer is your opposite sign, but also cancers are very much in their shells right now. Okay, so this, what I feel like here, what the universe is saying, your, what your challenge is right now, what you're, what you're really challenged with, tasked with, is to spend some time in maybe isolation, healthy isolation, time to yourself to understand your emotions on a deeper level. To understand what's really, what you're so afraid of also. Because the Two of Swords to me is saying that someone's really afraid of something. And that's why they're refusing to look at it, okay? Final message, closing message for you from the universe. What does spirit want you to know, Capricorn? Two of Pentacles. Maintaining the balance. Interesting. I'm hearing staying strong in your intuition. That's weird. Two of Pentacles is coupled with the Three of Wands. Ah, ha, 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 ha. So, you, the Spirit is saying to you, work on maintaining your material balance as you go through this process of allowing or waiting for some sort of ships to come in. Because check it out, Capricorn. It's coming. Knight of Wands. It's coming. All right. This doesn't have to be a relationship, although that's the strongest energy I'm getting right now for this. But this could be career wise, anything. All right. All right, Capricorn. There it is, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.